Good morning. My name's Jenny and welcome to another week of Family Art Club. Today we are in our second week of all kinds of fun and awesome hats to get ready for our hat party in the gardens on second Saturday in September. That is September 12th. It is going to be so much fun and I hope I'll see you there wearing a wild and crazy hat that you have at home or maybe making one of these awesome hats. So today we are making what is called a fascinator, which in fancy British talk or upper fancy pants talk, it is a tiny little hat that doesn't serve any purpose besides looking fancy and usually they're pretty weird. So we are gonna make one today that's inspired by our favorite foods. Um, today I'm inspired by our Art Camp at Home project that Rihanna Huffley Shepherd, Shepherd um, has created. It is of one of my favorite foods. Is this one of your favorite foods? So this project is a really cute, awesome, soft, cushy pillow that just happens to look like a slice of pizza and it comes with its own pizza slice box. Um, and you can make it deep dish like this one or you can make it thin crust which is my personal fave. If you want to just um, get the kit from Brianna, you can, that comes with all the supplies you'll need. You can purchase them online. Today is the last day of Art Camp From Home. So if you'd like to buy your own pizza party pillow kit, say that five times fast, You'll need to go to philbrook.org slash camp today to snag your last slice before they're gone. Um, but today we are not sewing. We are gonna be doing something that's a little simpler and also inspired by what might be one of your favorite foods. So um, one of my favorite foods is pizza, but you can do this project with whatever favorite food that you have. My, so what you're gonna do to start, you need a base. So I'm gonna use just a really thin, simple black headband. It doesn't have to be black, it can be whatever color. And I'm also gonna use a paper plate and that's what I'm gonna build my favorite meal on. So your favorite meal might be tacos, that might be really fun or ice, a, ice cream cone or an ice cream sundae, that might be really fun. I'm gonna be using felt today, but and like some other little crafty items like pipe cleaners. But the best part about this project is honestly, you can use anything um, and you can just build off the plate and the um, headband. So if you wanted to use uh, cardboard, you could do that. If you wanted to use clay, you could do that. Um, it's really about just kind of creating your favorite meal and turning it into a hat, which is pretty awesome. So when, what I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm going to use felt today. And I don't know about you, but I fairly recently discovered that there are two different kinds of felt. Um, so, and they do different things really well. So this kind of felt is what I like to call stiff felt. And if you search for stiff felt, um, you, it will pull up. And you see how it's just exactly like it sounds. It's not particularly like soft and fuzzy, but it is stiffened and it's also super duper easy to cut with scissors. So this felt is one that I really like um, if you're gonna be doing lots of cutting or trying to get little small shapes. It's just gonna be a lot easier to cut than this soft felt, which is the traditional felt that 
you probably have seen before. This comes in just as many colors as stiff felt, but it is like soft and it just, you know, it doesn't stand up by itself. You can kind of see that it's more like a fabric. Whereas this, like it's wiggly and moves around. Whereas stiff felt is more like a piece of paper. And so I'm gonna be using a combination of stiff felt and soft felt for this. But um, just kind of think about they each have their own really good use. So like I said, stiff felt is really great for cutting small pieces. Um, whereas soft felt, if you're wanting to try stitching or sewing, soft felt is gonna work really well um, for that. So I am going to make a slice of pizza as well, but it's not gonna be nearly as beautiful as the one that Brianna um, her project, but it's going to be probably a little quicker. So I'm going to start, this is going to be my base. Um, and to make my crust, because that is actually one of my favorite parts. I know, unpopular opinion, I feel like. I'm going to roll it a little bit and I'm going to take hot glue. So I'm gonna roll it. You might need an adult's help for this. Anything with hot glue, you know you wanna be safe. And I'm just gonna roll it on here. And I'm notice I'm not gluing it onto my uh, paper plate yet. That's probably actually gonna be last. So I made the crust actually I mean, you could make a cafeteria style square pizza, but the pizza I get, I mean, I'm past school cafeteria age. So the pizza that I usually get is not square. So I'm actually gonna take, I wanted to know how far down my crust was gonna go. And so then I'm gonna cut from here to the middle and there to the middle and then make myself a triangle piece of pizza. So, just kind of watching. As you notice, I'm using soft felt for this because that's the right color, but it's a little trickier. You wanna use scissors that are like really sharp. These scissors are not quite as sharp. The stiff felt would be way easier to cut. And it's not perfect and that's okay. Cause I'm just kind of eyeballing it. If you wanted it to be more precise, you could draw it first and then with um, a, a marker and then uh, cut that out. So, I've got my pizza slice. It's like a little pizza slice. Um, and now I need my cheese. So in my cheese color, you can tell it is a stiff felt. So I'm actually going to, and this is where you can get a little bit forgiving because I'm going to put this on top and the felts, they kind of stick together. So you don't have to really pin it so much. If you wanted to give yourself a little bit of extra insurance, you could try um, a little bit of glue stick and the glue stick will just kind of hold it in place, but not really. Um, it's just temporary. So, I'm gonna cut it out and you can be, you have a little bit of extra wiggle room here. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna cover up your crust. So I've got my pizza slice like this and it's got my cheese on here, starting to come together, starting to come together, huh? And let's see. So I can, there's a couple different ways I could do this. I might, you could stitch this 
with, I have some embroidery floss and some needles. Um, you could stitch it. You could try just the running stitch, which is just up and down, up and down through the fabric. Or you can kind of, um, that's a great like hand-eye coordination technique. It's also really good with patience and um, just really like concentration is really, sewing is one of a great way to do that and kind of build those skills. You can also glue it with either um, hot glue or like an E6000 kind of super gluey kind of thing or something that's just gonna be a little stronger than Elmer's, maybe like a tacky glue would work. Um, I am probably going to use hot glue just for the sake of this demo. But one of the things I might try doing is I might try using a recycled plastic bag um, to kind of give it, because right now it is very flat. I don't know about you. I haven't seen a lot of pieces of pizza that are quite this thin. So I am going to try to use a recycled plastic bag as polyfill, um, which is like what's inside of a regular pillow. Uh, I'm just going to use, see if I can use this. I don't want to make it real fluffy. I just want to give it a little bit of like, um, height, but not like a ton, just so it's not quite so flat. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to glue it down on two sides. So I have a triangle that's three sides. I'm gonna glue it down on the side by the um, crust and I'm gonna glue it down on one of my triangle side, on one of my sides of my pizza. So then I have one open flap. And for this, because this is like so much easier to work with, I'm just gonna do a line on this side on this side doesn't have to be perfect like I said get that plugged back in you would think I would get an extension cord for this hot glue gun but I've been kicking here for weeks and so we're still going with that one so so then I'm gonna just glue that down So then I have a little bit of a pocket. Not a huge one, just a little bit. I probably won't even use all this bag, so I'm just gonna cut it. Once you get it started cutting, you can tear. And I am going to just stuff it in here a little bit at a time. try and get it to the corners with my finger. So I waited for my glue to dry. I'm going to get it to the corner with my finger. It looks like I have a little bit of room for some more plastic bag. But I don't, like I said, I don't really want it to be too puffy. I just want to give it a little bit of dimension. And it's not like we're gonna be using this quite like a pillow. So um, like Brianna's, it's not quite as necessary. So now I have a little bit, it's in there. It feels a little, pretty good. And I'm just going to take my glue gun and do another line of glue here and press it closed. You can see on one side, my my uh, paper bag is kind of, or my plastic bag is kind of popping out a little bit. It's not a big deal because I'm going to be at the end gluing our pizza slice onto my paper plate so that no one will see it. Um, at this point, you can pick out your different colors of felt and cut your shapes for um, what your toppings are going to be. So I might do like a piece of sausage and brown, 
I might do some spinach in this really beautiful dark green. I might do some orange bell peppers or some lighter green basil. Maybe I wanna get fancy with it and do some fancy light cheese on top of my yellow cheese, like in little shreds. And I might wanna do a little bit of like onion in the purple, like a purple or red onion. So at this point, you can just cut out your shapes and either glue and glue them on to your pizza slice. I'm gonna go ahead and get do that and then I will show you how to turn your pizza slice, fix it to your plate, and turn it into a hat in just a second. All right, so my pizza slice is finished. I went ahead and went with a sausage, bell pepper, and spinach combo. Looks pretty good. And now we are ready to actually create the hat. So first things first, when we make a, like a fascinator or a fancy hat, it's not just, you never see it just straight on their heads. It is always at some weird cocky angle, jaunty angle, so that people can get actually like really see the hat. So like I said, the hat doesn't serve any purpose but as decoration for the top of your head. So I'm gonna want to put it on here so that when it's, this is on my head, it's at some kind of angle so that people can see my pizza slice really good and it makes them want a pizza slice hat. So I'm just gonna kind of feel that here. I'm gonna take it off, keeping my fingers still and I can kind of, let's see here. Mm, I didn't think this through, did I? I didn't think it through. Let me grab a marker. Okay, so I'm gonna try that again. You guys can think it through. And you can also have a friend or your, a grown up kind of help you with this and tell you like what looks good and fancy or jaunty. So I don't really need like a big mark. I just kind of want to know where I'm going to put it through. So then on either side of this mark, I'm going to make a slight slit. You can use a craft knife for this if you want to do it safer than I am right now. I don't have a craft knife on me, so this is another point where you would want to have an adult help you. I might, here we go, take, I'm, so I dented it in so I could see where my cut needed to go and I'm gonna fold it and just kind of cut in here until I make a hole. Because the thing is, I don't want to make a really large hole because I want, I'm going to slide my paper plate onto my headband. So on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to kind of mark where I want my, I'm going to kind of press in. There we go. That actually popped through really easily. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but then I'm going to slide this is where it can get tricky we'll see I actually did this in my brain before I thought if it was gonna work so sometimes I do that and you it's just really a trial and error situation So I'm definitely gonna need to make it go a little further. That's fine. Depending on the flexibility of your headband, you might get, a, it might be a little more flexible than mine. Mine is a really cheap one, so we'll see.
actually. You know what? I'm afraid I'm going to snap this because, like I said, it's a really, really cheap headband. So we're going to do the next best thing. I'm going to take some yarn that just happened to be right next to me. And we are going to tie it to our headband and then I'm going to glue it on. I'm just, I just really want like a little bit of extra security than just the hot glue. Because sometimes, especially with paper products, the hot glue can get torn off if you're rough with it. So having a string like I'm doing now or kind of like looping it through somehow is going to make it just a little more strong. I just wanted to have something so that when, in case something happened, it would be okay. So I'm gonna loop this on and then I'm going to tie it to my headband. And I'm gonna try it on to see if I like the angle that it's sitting at, and then I'm gonna adjust it. And then I'm going to glue it with my hot glue. And this is a step that you really wanna use hot glue. The super glue or tacky glue, it's really, it's just gonna be a, quite a bit more difficult than if you just kinda of get a grown up's help and use some hot glue. Okay. Also, you can see it's kind of like wibble wobbly. And when we add hot glue, hopefully that will help. So, like I said, you can do this in front of the mirror and um, that will give you an idea, idea of the angle that you want, or you can kind of just kind of go for it like I am. Um, and I'm just gonna put a lot of hot glue here, and I'm gonna move the headband around in the hot glue. And I'm gonna hold it until it's dry. And you're gonna wanna hold it as still as you can. So when you're doing this, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit while I wait for this to dry. Um, like I said, like you could do tacos. I almost thought about doing that. that. One of my favorite classes in, when I was in college was we actually, I, I was a ceramics um, major. That was one of my majors. And I, um, one of our projects, when we were first starting out and learning about how clay worked was to create a sculpture on a plate that we threw that was our favorite meal. And so that was something that it was just like really fun to see everybody's like what they created with clay. So they actually made it with clay and then glazed it to actually look just like the food. And so that was probably one of my favorite projects, especially when I was just starting college because it was just kind of fun and silly and low pressure. And yeah, it was just a lot of fun. And everybody's turned out differently because everybody has different preferences. So I would encourage you, don't just make a slice of pizza. Think about how you might create your favorite meal in felt or cardboard or you can build on you can use like to go containers to build out of like you could use the plastic bags to make if you need something to like be 3d and kind of hold its shape 
you can fill something with plastic bags and then put fabric or felt over the top of it to give it that firm shape. There's really like no shortage of things that you can do. The only reason I didn't end up doing tacos is because I didn't quite have enough felt in the right colors. So. Here we are. So I'm gonna let this dry and then we will fast forward to actually putting the pizza on the hat and making everything ready to go. So I'll see you in just a second. All right, so as you can see, it is now sticking by itself and we are ready to bring it all together into a really funny, silly hat to wear for our hat day party. So I know that I want to cover up this part with my pizza slice, but I also had this idea while I was gluing this that how cool would it be to do some bits of steam coming off of my pizza. So I am just going to glue some steam, which is just some shiny pipe cleaners to my pizza. I just kind of made a, I wrapped it around my finger and then I stretched it out and then I kind of folded the bottom to make a base where I can put my glue. So I'm gonna put a dollop of glue here and then right here, hold it for a second. Maybe more than a second. You don't have to do steam if you don't want to. I just feel like when I look at like ladies in really fancy, crazy, wild hats, um, they always have like feathers and wild stuff just popping off of, pop, popping out of them like willy nilly. And it's kind of silly and I like it. I don't know. I might change, I might change my mind after I see what it looks like on. I can always, you know, pull the hot glue off and add another topping there or something where if I don't like the mark that it leaves. I'm not overly worried. Okay. And the great thing about these pipe cleaners is that after I kind of get them on here, they're wire, so you can kind of adjust them and move them around as you feel like it. So I probably won't leave them just completely straight up like this. Um, once it's on my hat, but for right now, um, That'll give it, that's just giving it the most stability as it dries. So it's not putting extra pressure on trying to get it to lean or anything. So there we go. And now we are ready to attach onto our plate. So I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna take my hot glue you could do this part with a regular tacky glue if you wanted. I put a fair amount on there. And then I'm just gonna make sure I place it in a way that covers up my work that secures it on here. And this is where you can kind of futz around, kind of mess around with your 
with your steam. And then we can try it out and put it on. What do you think? I think this is what all the ladies are going to be wearing at the Kentucky Derby next year. So I hope to see you at our hat party in the gardens on Saturday, September 12th. This is totally weird and crazy and I love it. And I hope you make one and I hope you make one of what your favorite meal is and we can compare on Saturday. So I'll see you next week. We're going to do the final round of wild and crazy hats, and I will see you next week. Have a good one. Bye.